Drake is not just a rapper, he's a poet as well. Billboard was on the scene at the BET Awards. Country music dominates the charts. We play Never Have I Ever with Madeline Edwards. And Dragula winner Landon Sider gives us his musical inspiration. Happy Monday, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's June 26th and we've got to talk about Drake. Drake revealed over the weekend that he is releasing both a book of poetry and a new album. Drake revealed on his Instagram that he will be dropping a collection of poems named Titles Ruin Everything, a stream of consciousness. He captioned the post, I don't know if I have ever wanted people to buy or support something more in my life. The rapper and poet promoted the project with ads in major newspapers that included a QR code leading to a website where he revealed a new album is also on the way. The text on the site reads, I made an album to go with the book. They say they miss the old Drake, girl don't tempt me, for all the dogs. The Book of Poetry is out now and no word yet on when we'll get the new album. Last night was the BET Awards and there was music on the stage and drama in the audience. From high notes to a couple at each other's throats and hip hop tributes to the goats. The BET Awards delivered some high end entertainment and I'm here to break it all down for you. Let's dive in. Couple Little Uzi Vert and JT were the talk of the show after getting into an altercation in the audience where JT threw her phone at Uzi. This was all allegedly because Uzi was talking to Ice Spice. Allegedly. Videos can be found of the couple still arguing in the audience during some of the evening's performances, which included a confusing tribute to Tina Turner by Patti LaBelle. Amazing hip hop performances from my girls Lotto. And Coyla Ray, who wore a jacket tributing other female hip hop queens like Nicki Minaj, Lil Kim, and Left Eye. I low key need that jacket. And Ice Spice. And one of the most touching moments of the evening was when Quavo and Offset finally reunited to honor their lost Migos member, Takeoff. Now on to Dragula winner Landon Sider. He was on this month's Pride cover with Marin Morris, and he also told us about his drag inspiration. Today it is She Wants Revenge Tear You Apart. As I whisper in your ear, I want to tear you apart. I can perform that song every night of my life and be completely happy. All different kinds of music and musicians. Everything from Broadway, like Stephen Sondheim, to that I wanna fuck you kind of energy, like uh, She Wants Revenge, androgyny like David Bowie, a little bit of everything. That it's new. As artists and drag artists in general, we've been around for centuries, particularly as a drag king, people forget about us all the time. We've been along sometimes longer in some cultures than drag queens have. So I think just understanding that history precedes us than what maybe your knowledge is of today. I screamed. I told my wife and we literally jumped up and down. How exciting to be with such an incredible ally that is Sticking her neck out to show how much she appreciates and support us as artists, especially in today and in the state that she resides, knowing what's happening and she still did it for us. I couldn't be more honored. It's Monday, so you know we've got some fresh charts to go over. Country music is dominating this week's charts. As my we lit the liquor top. Morgan Wallen holds tight on the Hot 100 and Billboard 200, but he's not the only country artist killing it. Luke Combs races to number two on the Hot 100 with Fast Car. This is the first time two country songs have occupied the top two spots on the Hot 100 since 1981. Elsewhere on the chart, Gunna notched 11 entries on the Hot 100. 
this money and the fame by me paying and it change, but I know he be. And his album, A Gift and a Curse, debuted at number three, while AT scored their highest charting album with the World EP2 Outlaw, reaching number two. Before I let you go, let's take it back to our Country Power Players event, where we play Never Have I Ever with Madeline Edwards. Hi, I'm Madeline Edwards, and this is Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever lied to get out of a speeding ticket. I've never lied to get out of a speeding ticket, actually. I'm kind of shocked that I haven't, but all of the excuses that I gave to any cop were always real. My life is just that insane. So. Never have I ever forgotten lyrics on stage. I have forgotten lyrics on stage, because singing's hard sometimes. Never have I ever drunk dialed an ex. I have drunk dialed an ex before. I think I remember it. Uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah. Never have I ever missed a flight. I have missed so many flights, and my manager is literally standing right in the corner, and I'm not going to look at her because she's making eyes, but she knows that I miss flights all the time. So. Never have I ever dated two people at one time. I have dated two people at one time, and I'm not proud of it, but I mean, you know. They knew what was happening. They knew what was going on. I was very transparent from the beginning, so. Never have I ever seen a ghost. I have seen so many ghosts. I see ghosts every day. Actually, there might be one in this room right now. I saw them earlier, and we became homies, and we're still friends. We might actually go get in a walk in Old Fashioned after this. So I see ghosts all the time, yes. That's it for today. Make sure you come back tomorrow to find out who our next cover star is, and we'll be catching up with Austin Mahone. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.